Welcome back to my channel, everyone. My name is Shakayla Sam for those who are new here. I am a proud vegan, personal trainer, mom of a beautiful little girl, and nuts about all things health and fitness. Today is all about using resistance bands to get the most effective workout possible. Because we are all still stuck at home, some of us have limited equipment to use. So using bands is one of the best ways to get the most effective workout possible without breaking the bank or wa wasting countless hours searching for overpriced equipment that may be out of stock or unavailable. I currently have resistance bands available in my store for sale. They come in a set of three and each set includes a band for low, moderate, and heavy resistance. <laughs> The blue band is the lowest resistance, while the red one is moderate and the black band offers the heaviest resistance. You can purchase these bands on my website at sexycurryfit.com. The link to the store will also be in the description box down below. Alright, let's get into this workout. Be prepared to work up a sweat. First up is the plie squats. You will complete 3 sets of 15 reps. Be sure to go down as low as you can on these and when you come back up to the top, squeeze your glutes as hard as you can. To make these a little more difficult, I recommend you pulse for 15 reps at the bottom or use the red band for even more intensity. For this exercise, I use the least resistance band. Next up is the banded squat abduction. Now these are tough, so be sure to go slow and controlled. One rep will include a squat, three hip abductions, and a three second hold at the end of the exercise. Perform these for three sets of 10 reps and be sure to go as low as you can in the squat position and really squeeze those thighs to feel the burn in your glutes and legs. up next and this is a simple exercise to perform but can be made more difficult by adding a heavier resistance band and pulsing for 15 reps after you perform 10 reps of the exercise. Be sure to lift your leg up as high as you can to get a good burn in the glutes. You can also just switch out bands for added intensity. Don't forget to perform the lifts and pulses on each leg. Next to one of my favorite exercises, the fire hydrants. Performing these with fabric bands makes this exercise very difficult. I struggled to do these and literally 4 reps in my glutes were on fire. You will perform 3 sets of 12 reps for each leg. Be sure to go slow and controlled and focus more on the squeeze at the top of the exercise. lunges were so good. It gave me a nice stretch in my hamstrings and burn in my glutes. You will perform 3 sets of 10 reps on each side. The deeper the lunge, the better. The heavier the band, the more intense the exercise. I took a gamble and used the red moderate resistance band and it set my entire lower body on fire. Again, slow and controlled is best and focus on that mind to muscle connection.
size, I just kind of made up on the fly. I love curtsy lunges, but wanted to add in a kickback to intensify the movement. Using a fabric resistance band, you must go slow and controlled, otherwise you'll trip coming out of the lunge and trying to kick back too fast. These resistance bands are no joke, so take your time with this exercise and complete 3 sets of 12 on the left and right side. the banded donkey kicks. This is a very popular exercise and can be made more intense by adding a resistance band and pulses. You will perform 3 sets of 12 reps on each leg adding in 12 pulses after you've completed the 12 reps. Remember, slow and controlled and focus on the mind and muscle connection. this workout don't forget to like comment share and subscribe let me know down in the comments how you like the routine and what else you'd like to see on this channel and until next time stay happy stay healthy and stay safe and i'll see you guys again next week bye guys